It is going to be a grudge match for the whole ka kitten caboodle uh, when Omen Elite and Tippo Storm face off at the end of today. Uh, but they've got to pick up the win first against the Dodonga. Yeah, Tempest Storm's first on the Nibble since April. That is a huge amount of time to stay on top. But last month, like you say, taking that loss to Omen and Elite pushed them down. And they've got to recollect themselves this week. No time left in order to do it in the, in the following month. So it's now or never for Tempest Storm. Dude, I'm going to grab the first Siege bot, and that's a pretty big upset to start things off. OG, Alec, and Bobby uh, all playing really long range, kind of careful, high damage brawlers. Two throwers and Spike to back him up. A common comp, but wow, nice pull there by Sky. Grabs that enemy uh, Sprout and is able to pull him in and finish him off with Kennedy to help support. Dudu Dunga with the pickup on that first bot. I've also got the second bot in the bag. A big bolt lead in there, just stacking it even higher. Min Moon got the right side as, who is that? Mike? I was just about to say, I <laughs> we didn't even realize because of all the action that was going with Sky and these amazing pulls on the left that Minwing has come in with a dynamite. What is life, Woody? Explosions all around the map and chaos reigns supreme. Unable to keep pace with so much dynamite going off. Alec goes down once again. The thrower v thrower match is going in dynamite's favor as that quick fire response has given him a leg up on the competition. Not quite as much range, but hey, if you're already sitting right in the mid and grabbing those bolts, you've got what you need. And he is going to continue to pop down those supers from Alec. Great support from Sky there. We'll back him up in the third bot is almost guaranteed to come in for Dudu Dunga. First win is almost in the bag. Playing super, super well and uh, great shots from uh, from the Dynamite there. Minwung using Satchel Charge there to get that stun off on Alec and as a result winning his side for his team and now a level 10, not the start that Tempest Storm wanted. This is disastrous because Dudu Dunga can actually make a difference to the outcome this month, Woody. Dudu Dunga, the meteorologist, saw this storm coming and ducked and hid out of the way of damage. 100% hit points remain on the Dudu Dunga Ike and all the way down to 43% without a single bot in their name. Tempo Storm have really been shaken by this first encounter and will have to come back with something else. Change their brawler comp because I think that they really got closed out of that game really early on. Their lead and can they continue to justify these interesting brawler comp picks? Not going to be back with with Dynamite this time around. Minwung instead is going to be in with Sandy, really high utility brawler, but he's got some weird angles up against Alec right now, who's just throwing those bottles from behind the obstacles. Minwung's going to sneak in and grab one bolt, and that might be enough to give Dudu Dunga the first bot. Can they hold on to the left side, though? Tempo, OG, and Bobby both charging in. It's a tie arc. Yeah, tie and pulls on both sides from both Sky and um, Bobby. You actually go down on the uh, Tempest Storm side of things. So actually Sky with the better interaction there. OG has super looking to shut down that bolt and push back Kennedy. But I like the fact that OG is focusing with Kennedy because uh, Spike, a great counter to Jackie, who's a very dominant force on this particular map. Bobby misses the super and Sky will uppercut him with that great grip from afar, finishing him off and giving Dudu Dunga another chance to send in a big old bot. The second siege almost guaranteed to come in from them. They've got 11 bots and this could be a one punch knockout arc. This is the thing right now, but Tempestorm have got to get themselves together. This is not going well for them, but OG juking that super there from the sky could be a way to start things off, but no bolts really in their pocket, even going into this next round. If they do defend this push, they're in a bad shape. Bobby's got pulled the healing tonic there, going out from Alec. Oh it's God, actually a great defense. defense there from Tempestorm. Like a brick wall, Tempo Storm shuts that bot down. Only 12% damage on their Ike, and they are still in this one arc. They've got a bolt advantage, not holding on to mid. Can they get back in there? Six to three bolt line right now with 22 seconds till the next siege. Not much time left, and right now, Dudadunga have the mid control. It's Minman retreating, uh, retreating with that bolt Kennedy on his own, but he will find enough time to bank it, I think, with the suck as well. Sky missed the pull. The bolts are very much in favor of Dudadunga, and I think the time has run out for Temperstorm in Seizure. Level 10 coming in for Dudadunga and Minwoon with the cry faces. Dudu.
Dunga have doo doo done it. The first set going to them without a single siege bot attacking their Ike. A little bit of poke and prod there from Tempo Storm trying to get some damage off, but not even able to get it below that 80% threshold that Dudu Dunga picked up earlier on. That is a clear and convincing win for our upstart challengers. They are going to take set number one. I think that Bobby playing a lot of Gene right now makes sense to me because that's another of his favorite Sundays. I should have with Pam. I can't remember the last time I even saw Bobby playing Pam here, but another great choice for mid. And uh, yeah, we're actually going to see a mirror comp, uh, but it's going to be a Tara Pam lane on both sides here. Yeah, Infinity Mirror staring down their opponents. It's like that Spider-Man meme that's both the same on both sides. But Pam going out on the right for Min Wung, where he's on the left by Bobby uh, from Tempo Storm. An advantage for Alec as he's held court in the mid and grabbed four gems, but he's stunned. Tripwire goes off. Sky gets the kill, and that's five gems for the red team. Guys, scraping away there, 125 HP. Bobby with just maybe a little bit more uh, damage there, could have got a takedown, putting the Dunga in a, a difficult spot, but now starting to gain back more control over the mid. You've got Alec with his mines down there in the center, and I imagine both of those two bows running that uh, tripwire stun from the gadget, but now the healing shade on Sky will push back Duda Dunga into the mix and the jazz oh, the stun the stun sky goes down sky goes down and og with the super there to get the gems back into the hands of tempest storm what a beautiful grab but they cannot hold on they should have pulled back sooner because the damage is dumped in there doo doo dunga dropping a big fat one right in tempo storm's face and denying them any hope at victory in game number one this gym grab map has gone to doo doo dunga first off the second game will see a terrible uh, comeback but I'm not sure if Tempo can hold on after being uh, disgraced that badly by Dudu Dunga. They had all the gems in their hands, Ark, and they just couldn't hold on to it. For Tempo Storm, they probably figured there was nothing else that they could do but cross their fingers and hope that that gadget would pop off at the exact right spot. That tripwire stunning the enemy uh, line of attack when they thought that they uh, had it in the bag. Tempo Storm finding all of a sudden that they were team wiped and unable to get back into it. Dududunga Sky is going to play very aggressively in the mid here, charging up, grabbing a couple of gems, but it seems like he's earned that opening having kicked, uh, kicked Alec out of the competition. Alec though doing well against Sky, and Sky's going to go down here if he's not careful to Alec. Four gems might be seeing their way back to Tempestorm, but it's at the moment, Bobby's getting pressured by Minwung, and it does seem like what seemed to be a chance for Tempestorm to get control has dwindled yet again. Sky with seven gems now. Can the popping gadget giving complete awareness? And then there we see again the, the gadget stun from Sky. So, so devastating. And the countdown seems inevitable. It would be such a disastrous start for Tempestorm to go to oh, the stun. Return and just go down. Tripwire catches Alec and, uh, or Alec catches with, with the tripwire rather, taking down the enemy gym carrier. They're not going to get the countdown that they were looking for just yet, but Sky will charge back in, grab it up too, and there it goes. Guy again, weak. Alec has mines, but maybe not the best placement. It will encourage Kennedy to not go down to the right. We'll have to wait and see OG with a suck on Kennedy. Kennedy weak goes down. That will reset the countdown. But Tempestorm have got to get deep into the heart of the Dunga spawn here. And Kennedy with super on the left hand side will be looking to shut OG down. This is going to be super close. Alec has already used his trip wires. Can he get one more big super off? He's going to catch Sky here and now. Can't get the bomb off. And even with a big. <laughs> Hold on! OG's done it! He grabs the gems and runs out as far as he can into the bushes. He fades a black portal. He's going down, but at least he's giving Tempo Storm another shot at glory. A great valiant attempt from OG there under pressure to, to survive as long as he did, but Alec propped those mines a bit prematurely. It's Kennedy who they need to take down. Kennedy's the only one to go. He goes down! He goes down in the spawn! Resetting it once again. Tempo are not giving up easy. They've got to take down Sky. There's no way that help by killing Minwung would get them enough to get over that hook. 11 gems in Sky's hand and only five seconds left. He's got a healing turret to top and back off. Bobby just does nothing. Not have the scrap to get it done and doo -doo dunga have gotten another win set two in the bag and they are trouncing tempo storm or we might even see gail to use that uh, gadget to jump over as well daryl with the
the rolls over the lake. It plays out very, very differently to a lot of normal heist maps. And already Bobby calling in a meteor there as well to open up that side. So Primo making an appearance here, which is not normal to see in heist. Yeah, Min Wung rolls over the lake and will get to the other side, walks straight to the heist uh, safe and starts blowing it apart. Pops a gadget too to dump even more damage in there. Great early hit for Dudu Dunga, bringing it down to 60%. Tempo Storm unable to keep pace just at 81. But there goes Bobby punching through. I never thought a Fist of Fury could deal so much damage to solid steel, but that Dudu Dunga safe now below half hit points. Tempo Storm is pulled back ahead. I gotta say, Tim was uh, playing very, very well. I mean, Alec there was under a lot of pressure on defense and he came out on top. It could have been a lot more than 40% damage. And Bobby and OG got in some good value there. They are definitely feeling the heat. That's definitely the case here, as we can see. But they are doing well to defend this. Minwoon looking to roll. I guess waiting for Kennedy and Sky to get their supers as well. Duda Dunga here gearing up for something big, I feel. And they want to end this here. They are deploying maximum effort in this, what could be the final set of their hopes at World Finals. Tempo Storm in the lead, but by only 12%, and it's riddling away fast. Every single shot from Kennedy is bringing them closer and closer to destruction. Now tied exactly dead even at 48% damage on both of these saves. One last minute to determine the winner. Handy with good shots as well. Incendiary star power getting good, good effect. Oh, oh my goodness me! The gadget ball over the wall got the takedown for them as well. And now Min Wung looking to find the gap. OG shutting down the lane, spins around the works as Bobby tries to get a super. Can't get it. This is the chance if Tempestorm can reconvene here, but Min Wung, a de desperate threat on the right hand side. Alec with a bit of a miss roll there as well. It's disastrous for Tempestorm. Imagine losing your world's qualification spot to a rocket jump from Brock. That may very well have been what we just saw, Ark. Great job to Dudu Dunga have got maximum pressure. And even with the repulsion by Tempo at the end, 10 seconds are left. And that's a lot of damage left to deal if they want to even things up. It's not over! It's not over! The Rocket Ray Reggie! No! The defense is there! Duna Dunga under maximum pressure in the final second. Stay firm against my suspicions that that might have been enough. No! Duna Dunga say no, Woody! World-class team like Tempestorm who've been by far one of the most consistent teams this year and, and they've held that leaderboard for so, so long. You've got to ask yourself what would have happened if they ran into each other more in the lead up to this. They've been working so, so hard, but now Tempestorm have got a mountain to climb and I don't know whether they're going to have enough time to climb it. Well, let me play out for you a disaster scenario for Omen. If Dudu Dunga get first place, but then Tempo beat Omen Storm and get second place, then that would put the whole series to a tiebreaker with a seventh match to follow in this North American region. Can you imagine that this comes down to a head-to-head -head with Tempo Storm and Omen and Elite? Alec rolling in, Minwing rolling as well. I feel like Alec's got the, the worst deal of the bargain there goes down but comes back up and HP actually with the heal that he got off. Uh, it's, it's OG going with the dynamite pick. I've just noticed to the left hand side as well. And we'll have to wait and see if that fares well. It, it fared well for Duna Dunga. Will it fare well for Tempestorm now? Alec and Bobby both playing very defensively, not gonna boost up OG. Instead, he's going down and it's back to defense now. Min Wung is uh, juking and, and threatening with this super to hop over the wall and get some damage straight in on the safe, but Alec is laying in wait. Full health Daryl on defense. It's going to be hard for them to get through. A super from Spike will be able to get the safe nipped down to 93% overall. That's an even scoreline there. But with Alec rolling over the wall, it's up to OG to defend against the Daryl. Can he do it? He's doing a great job of doing it. 56 HP, but now the final seconds. The gadget comes in, Karch! That is something that you do not see every day. A very, very great defense from OG. You do not want to ever go up against the Daryl with max HP as the dynamite on defense in Heist, which just goes to show how well Timberstorm are doing. And Duna Dunga are doing incredibly well to face off the way they are against Timberstorm right now.
Try Nitro Toluene! OG tossing the TNT for maximum effect. That gadget, the saving grace of the Tempo Storm squad, ahead by 30% damage overall, and just needing to block out this final push. They might have done it, even up the set here and now. This is a match point opportunity. And OG, with a celebratory gadget, tosses out more damage on the enemy safe. Tempo have done it! Reverse sweep question mark. That Gadget, I'm actually a little bit surprised that it took him so long with Daryl right on top of him. When you just need a little bit tiny more damage, pop the gadget, so many bombs go off. It's almost impossible not to get a little bit off. And with only 56 hit points there, Min Wung was in a bit of trouble. Couldn't seal the deal. And with that, we are now still at match point for Dudu Dunga. A win in this game will take it all for them. But Tempo Storm showing some life now. That rhythm coming back and giving them another opportunity uh, to stay alive. Well, we need to check, but it could very well be the first time ever that Fidget Spinner has actually got a kill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but OG sticking with the Dynamite pick. Uh, he's feeling good about it. Min Wung now looking to find the space as Bobby and OG force to the left. Alec then staying to the right, ready for that roll. And Min Wung actually showing that, yeah, guys, you, you shut me down well. I'm going to have to go over here now and... Uh, you know, they're starting to show uh, maybe a few signs of uh, caution from Dudadunga. The roller for Bobby is good, though. The jump away is better to a point as it now leaves OG with some shots off the finish of Min Wung, shutting down that push from Dudadunga. No damage yet on either safe. Kennedy's going to launch the rocket rain, though, and that's going to open up a big compartment, really making it easy for Dudadunga to get his strike in there. But hold on, because Alec has made his way to the enemy safe as well, rolling straight through, but not really opening up as much damage as you might have expected. Min Wung caught him up there unguarded and only 3% damage. Tempo Storm didn't get the big strike they were hoping for, but they are technically in the lead right now. It was a fantastic roll from Alec and a really smart play to be so sneaky there. Minwoo had no idea where Alec was until he went for the roll. So I feel like Alec there could have got actually more damage, but he was hard done by there. That wasn't his fault. He actually played it to perfection. And again, it just goes to show how close these two teams are right now as Minwoo approaches the same. Oh, oh, oh my oh, goodness! My goodness me! What a roll from Minwoo! The damage as well going in. What a play from Dunadunga! Ripping in the Terran, he rolls straight through two brawlers and does a little spin in congratulatory back padding on the end. That could be it! Dunadunga far and away, the favorites to win it all! Here they go! Match point closing now, Ark! It's gonna be Minwoo on the save for the final trickles of damage. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Kennedy coming back in for the respawn. Dunadunga have done it against Tempestorm.